which is the, the serious story all the way through. When I stopped playing it, just had the Bandit Woman join the team. Oh, Bandit Woman, that would be Rose. Bandit Woman joined the team. I, think I was heading toward the mountain. Oh, I think I, I think I know where that is. I don't like. It, it's unfortunate because I think the lore of Zestiria is neat because like, Berseria and Zestiria have the same lore. They have the same world. So. I, I think the lore for this area is neat, but the story is pretty disjointed from what I remember. I played the game like twice, so not quite as much as I played my top four, my top, uh, my top Tales games. Like, um, I played Grace's, Berseria, Zillia, Symphonia like five plus times. So I didn't play it as much as those, but I played it twice, so I have a decent opinion on it. I just remember the storyline feeling very disjointed and very, like... I don't want to say hard to follow, but it just felt very, like... Not presented well. It could have been presented well, though. Okay, this is where I put the Holy Bottle out, because Core is 35. Oh, this isn't because they're the dungeon, that's why I can't use the holy bottle. Plus, I want to at least find all these whale pieces if we don't get to the save point. I want to make sure we find all these whale pieces. I saw the red one, but it's a matter of getting to it. Wait, is this stereo was a PS3 game, huh? I played it on the PS4. I think, it, I think it came out for both in America. Because for Syria, they made the PS3 version Japan only, but I think Zestiria was the last one that had the PS3 localized. Let's go. Once you get all the whales, if you know the order, you'll get access to the pre-boss room, which has a save point. Perfect. That is my goal, then. My goal is to try and get to that pre-boss room, which is getting all the whale pieces. I got two of them. I need two more. So what you're telling me is this whole whale thing is the puzzle, basically. The gimmick. Once I find them, I'm basically done. Even if I'm not done, as long as I get to a save point, that's fine. I just need to be at a save point. Which, I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just leave the dungeon, but like, I'd rather get to the save point just to make me feel like I did progress. I don't like doing a dungeon and be like, hey, I'm out of time for stream, I have to go back and leave. It just feels like I made no progress. I just want to be able to like, get to the save point and be like, hey, made some progress. Puzzle's quite a head scratcher. Ba -ba -bum. When here ready. I might start running from the battles. Because now it's full puzzle solving time. Just a few of them. Alright, I know exactly where the red one is, but now getting there is, uh, getting there is the problem. It'll be done, eventually. Okay, so that gate over there. I need to open that gate. The gate that's, like, near the switch, I need to open that one. How do I have a lot of MP? Do I have like level restore or something? I probably just used a pineapple gel without even noticing. That's entirely possible.
Dude, I can't wait for Wednesday. I if I if I was going for the five hours today, today would be that like facing shawl and everything, but like you know. That's gonna be on Wednesday. Today was still great though. We got that nice scene with Kor and Kohaku. That was great. Still some great progress. We we did the desert. We did the sewers, which didn't take very long, then we did the desert, and then we got the pin Prince Yor, which means next stream should be some good story stuff. I have a feeling Prince Yor is gonna be some big story stuff. I just it feels like a very climatic point for the story. Plus, like, the outbreak of war is about to begin. It's got me pumped. Oh, no, I, ha I had it right before. Oh, wait, my holy bottle wore off. Okay. But then I can't... Okay. I hit that, then I can't leave. Then that one will- the one blocking the red wheel will be blocking, so I need to keep it like that for now and then come back? <laughs> oh dang it, he interrupted me! Apparently when you get hit, you don't get to do your, like, finisher or teleport. Duly noted. Now I know. Okay. Keep that one. I think I understand. Emphasis on I think I understand. I think I got it. Okay, yeah. Open this one. Now that's open. How do I just climb up, I think? Man, such a such like a simple looking mechanic can be such a brain teaser. It's crazy. Like, it, it looks simple, like, hey, hit the switch, block one side, get the other, but, like, it's a lot more convoluted. Convoluted is probably the wrong word, but it's a lot more confusing than it looks. Represents life. Isn't that the first one that the game told me about? Wasn't the first one I need the one that represents life? Got so lost in this place? I don't blame you. I don't feel like getting lost is the problem. I feel like... I feel like the problem is just like, it's just like a Lufia 2 tier puzzle. Which if you haven't played Lufia 2, Lufia 2 is an SNES game which has very huge emphasis on puzzle solving. They have like really complex puzzles. Usually puzzles that take like a lot to solve. So... Yeah, also a great game. If you like SNES games, very highly recommend. But, um, yeah, so it just feels like it's like more, more brain teaser than getting lost, I feel. Because I know exactly where I'm going. I have a sense of navigation, but the problem is executing what I need to do to get certain pieces. Oh, is that the other piece I need? Is it like all the way over there? Oh, you didn't know, you didn't know it tells you about what it represents? Mmm. So that's what you were talking about with guess and check. Gotta read those item descriptions, dude. 
every single context clue counts. I can imagine that being a nightmare, but honestly, guessing and checking wouldn't be that hard. It'd be annoying, but you would get it eventually. It works, it works. First, I want to- alright, I'm running from this. I'm like, I only have like five-ish minutes left, maybe a little more to make these videos round nicely, but would love to get this last piece and get to that save point, which is what my boy Alakazam told me in chat. But hopefully we can get this last piece. Might just be up there. Did I ever go up there? I don't recall. Can't remember. I think I did this wrong though because I need to do it a little differently. I need to open that first but leave that open. I don't see a piece there, but like. There are four pieces, right, chat? I saw four slots, so it looks like there are four. Let me just go to the room and see, because I have the one that represents life. Let me put that in and see what happens. Life, red. Peace? I think it was green? Blue? Oh, do I need all of them? Okay. Was peace green? Did I get that right? Peace was green. Yeah, okay. You need all of them. So what? It's yellow? It's a yellow one, I'm assuming? What color would fit? <laughs> Yellow's the only one that would fit with red, blue, and green. I feel. Orange would be weird. Do I have the right place? Got the green one in the center somewhere. I got the red and I got the blue. I don't remember where I got the blue. I know the green was in the center somewhere. Let me try going up here and getting a better view. I'm literally gonna run from every single battle because I'm I'm like on a time crunch to try and get this piece. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I went like a little over. Whatever. That's it, isn't it? It's gotta be. It looks a little yellow, but I can't really tell. That's not it, though. I don't know where it can be. I, I looked everywhere. This is the wrong way. I have to go up. Like, in the center. I, th I think I know what I'm doing. I have to do the same thing I did for that red one. With that. I'm assuming it's yellow. It looked, it looked vaguely yellow. Kind of hard to tell, but it looked kind of yellow. From the nest run. A neat puzzle though. Again, very Lufia 2. I love Lufia 2's puzzles. There's like one or two in that game that don't mesh well and like they don't hit with me. They're not necessarily bad puzzles, but they don't hit with me. Not every puzzle is gonna hit with every player. But um some some are legitimately bad, but sometimes some just don't hit, and there are some in that game that don't hit, but most hit really well. Game, please throw me throw me a hand here just give me a hand here and help me get to this by like eliminating random encounters still got 12 holy bottles which is pog
It's good that fleeing is like Zillia. I don't like the games where you have to like run to the corner of the screen. It turns out to be two of my, my top two Tails games are like that. I don't like running like that, honestly. I just like going to the menu and pressing flee. It's a lot less annoying. Alright, open sesame. Yeah, I think I got it. I just gotta go up there. That, that's gotta be the last piece. It would make sense to have one on one side, one on the complete opposite side, because the blue and green weren't in these areas. They were just, like, like lying around somewhere. Well, chat, you hit the nail. That was joy. Okay. So, life is red. Peace is green. So, red, green. I don't know what they're going to ask me next, but if it's not joy, it's blue. If it's joy, it's yellow. Yeah, chat hit the nail on the, nail on the head. Shout out to Alexam because I think he was the one that said it took ha takes half an hour. Again, on Twitch, both of their names are in red coloring. I have to look specifically for the sub badge or no sub badge. If there's a sub badge, it's genus. If there isn't, then it's Alakazam. Both their names are red. I do not know why sometimes the colors mesh. That's so much to keep track of. Is there a way to name change our name color? I don't think so. I think Twitch kind of just automatically does it. They just happen to make both of your names red. Although if I look closely, it's hard to tell, but if I look closely enough, Genus's name is like a little darker red. Not by much, but it's like a, a tad bit darker compared to yours. And Arietta's is orange. But I remember, I think Arietta's, like, yesterday when I played Three Hopes was purple. So the names are just random, I think. Alright. Red. Green. Joy was yellow. Arietta's orange, it looks blue to me. Oh, it's probably different for every single viewer. So my the colors that you guys are for me. The colors you guys are for me are probably not for you. Maybe. I, I don't know. Twitch man. Twitch with their colors. Colors man. Yeah, colors man, exactly. I quote that. Retweet. Yeah, the colors are probably different depending on the viewer. Or depending on who's using Twitch. Alright, is, uh... Alright, so let's see if Alakazam's right, if the save point's right at the door. Yeah, they're definitely different for every person. I just got unlucky. Me, the Twitch streamer, got really unlucky. Two of the most common chatters in my chat are both red. So I have to look really... I either have to look at the sub badge that Genus has, or just look really closely to see who's talking. Hence the little conundrum we had before. Wait a minute, how did I get to this center again? Run faster, run faster. Is it up this way? It might have been up this way. It was up the spiral tower. Bub bub bub. No, this connects to two sides. All right, so I need to do this. I need to do this bit, okay. Like right now, if I were to leave, I know I technically have all the pieces we made progress, but if I were to leave and go back to Prince, Prince Yor to save and wrap up, 
it would make my psyche, my psyche would feel like, oh, you made, like, no progress in the dungeon. Even if I actually did. It's just, it's a me thing. So to make my life better and make me satisfied, I have to, I like to wrap up in the dungeon I'm in or the place I'm at in the game. Like, if I have to backtrack, it just messes with my psyche, man. Oh, you know what? I'll do this battle. I'm already, I'm already a little over time, so. Some of these videos are just gonna be extra long. Maybe like cutting the 22 to 25 minutes. Some of them might be. We're not at the 20 minute mark. As long as we're not at the 20 minute mark, because if I was at the 20 minute mark, I would have to make a 10 video, which doesn't sound bad, but it messes with my, uh, my OCD for the videos. Oh. Does it have to be from that side? But luckily, I can just do this, though. Alright, there we go. Please save point. Oh, yes. Yo. Alakazam hitting the nail on the head. Pretty much did take 30 minutes. 30 minutes was a good estimate. Alright, it was a healing save point. So I'm assuming we're going to fight a boss. Like, I'm, I'm like 90% certain. 90% certain we're gonna fight a, uh... Boss in that door. Which, actually, this is better. It's better to just save all that stuff for next time where we can probably get some big stuff happening. I have so much to do before the battle. Not as much. Maybe with cord. You know what? I'm already over time. Let's just dump some points so I don't gotta do this next time. I know I'll forget. So. Stop and step. You do know your hearts, yeah. <laughs> I I see why this is your favorite Tales game. I'm relatively, even though I have my favorite Tales game, I have my favorite Tales games, but I'm rel the ones I play, I'm just relatively knowledgeable about the series, so, you know. It, it, knowledge just kind of sticks with me with these games. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Great, great stream. Really good progress for, for a three-hour stream. Definitely some good stuff. When we come back next time, we're going to head through that door. We're going to face Shaw, probably. We're going to confront Shaw, if nothing else. And hopefully, we'll get him to join me. We'll see what goes on. But yeah, it should be fun. Hearts is great. I'm really enjoying Tales of Hearts. This is 18 hours in. I don't know how much longer the game is. But, uh, you know, still having a ton of fun. And we'll see how it goes. So, definitely the next Hearts stream will be on Wednesday. Because tomorrow, I'm not streaming tomorrow. Monday, we're going to finish Dragon Quest XI's main game. The main game of Dragon Quest XI on Wednesday, or Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday will be Three Hopes, getting to the end of that playthrough relatively, getting close, I don't know how much longer that game is, but it can't be much longer, and then more hearts on Wednesday, guaranteed. Five hours, maybe four, four to five hours on Wednesday. But yeah, thank you all for watching, see you all next time.